So I'm going to talk a little bit about watch lists and a watch list is basically a group of markets that I'll be watching on a careful basis before I send out a trade. There are three criteria that I look at before I add a market onto my watch list. So I have a rule of thumb when it comes to looking at certain watch lists and basically uh, there's three criteria that's involved. The first one is that I look at the market cap. Now, for example, with the JSC All Share Index, I will only trade shares that have companies with a market cap of over 20 billion Rand. So with a market cap of 20 billion, at least I know there's gonna be strong trends. I know that there are gonna be a lot of traders getting into these type of markets. Um, the liquidity is gonna be good and the volatility is gonna be good. It's not gonna be too jumpy and it's not going to be going into you know sideways consolidation ranges for too long. So that's the first criteria. Market cap needs to be over 20 billion Rand each. So for example, when I'm looking at the JSC All Share Index, generally there's over 300 companies and you can break that down into the JSC All Share Top 40 Index. But I find that even the, the full 40 do not meet the criteria that I look at when it comes to adding onto a watch list. So um, I only look at the top 25 companies when it comes to the JSC. The second criteria is that I will only trade a market that trades over 500,000 shares or instruments per day. So with the JSC again, the top 25 that I look at, there needs to be over 500,000 shares traded per day because then I know that the price movements are gonna be good, the trends are gonna be good, and that's exactly what we need as traders to ride up trends whether the market goes up or down. Third criteria is that I'm looking for credibility. These companies and markets need to be the blue chips of the world. That way we know that they've been established. We know that they're significant in the trading world. And we know that they are less likely to just crash. So now with these watch lists, the JSC isn't the only one that I look at. There's also the American market. So we're gonna go through the NASDAQ. We're gonna go through the S&P 500. We're gonna go th look at the Dow Jones. Um, so that's the American markets. Then we can look at the DAX. So the DAX, normally they are the top 30 stocks on the German um, exchange but I only look at the top 13. Same with the FTSE. The FTSE has 100 companies and I find that with my trading system, only the top um, 18 work the best for the system. So I've really uh, nailed this down into exactly what will work with the service, okay? And then, believe it or not, we're gonna look at indices. So yes, we can look at the, all the indices that I've mentioned, the IBEX, so Spain's index, the Hong Kong index, the All Share uh, 40 index, we can take those trades. And then, yes, we will be sending out buy and sell flash signals on cryptocurrencies, okay? Uh, and uh, the recommended broker that I suggested, which is Rand Swiss, um, using ProTrader has 10 cryptocurrencies that are readily available to trade and the liquidity is excellent. With the infant age with the cryptocurrencies, I was kind of hesitant that the liquidity and the volatility would not be good for the service and also for the multi-trader system, but they were great. So I'm talking about Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dash, Monero, um, Ethereum, okay? Those are the ones that come top of mind. That sums up what we are gonna be going through the service for now. Remember the service is an ever evolving process. I've been an analyst for a service for over eight years and every year there are new markets that are coming into the watch list and there are markets that just don't do well anymore and so I take out of the watch list and that is the beauty about trading and stock market investing is that it's an ever evolving and changing business and you need to adapt or die.